Okay, so yesterday we have uh, seen XML with single and multiple structure. So I hope your multiple uh, structure should be like this. Okay, it should contain uh, the root tag and under that root tag, your parent tag, under the parent tag, your peer elements. Okay, and the parent tags like this. Okay, and if you close uh, the root one, supposed to close for all. So this is how I think you guys are created. Okay. Next one is JSON. Let me move on to JSON. This is what to JSON. Okay. When you say simple JSON, right? It basically uh, the JSON format uh, uses for the APIs. So when it comes to the APIs, right? Uh, there are three different APIs. We have uh, like the REST APIs, SOAP APIs, and the data APIs. But uh, yeah, mostly the JSON uh, will be used in REST APIs. Okay. Uh, because uh, SOAP uses the XML format and ODAT and all that also, you know, it's a different format. Like uh, it uses uh, both the formats, XML and JSON and coming to REST also, it can use XML, JSON, any text format because it is a user-friendly APIs, okay? When you're creating APIs also, you use the REST APIs. So that will be uh, user-friendly and you can use any format. But yeah, mostly for uh, uh, RESTful APIs and all, they'll use uh, JSON responses and uh, uh, the accounts like, uh, you know, the financial based account, mostly the financial based accounts or the financial based integration, they use JSON format. Okay. Uh, manufacturing, uh, healthcare, or logistics, mostly they'll use XML based or database based uh, profiles. But coming to financial uh, based accounts, they'll use uh, JSON format. Okay. So, how to create this JSON? Okay, so basically, uh, same like uh, XML, uh, you know, you use uh, open tag and uh, close tag with slash, right? Same way, open braces. This is this is curly braces, okay? Open curly brace and closed curly brace. That's the, you know, first setup you will uh, create for the syntax, JSON syntax, okay? So that is the first. And second rule, you will be defining your variables. As I told, the naming conversion part, anything you can use, uh, full caps, full small, or uh, camel cases, and uh, don't use the special character. Instead of space, you can go with underscore. Same, same applies here as well. Okay, you can go with them. And but coming to the variable declaration, right? For XML, what we have done, we have enclosed it with less than or greater than symbol, right? Coming to JSON, we will be enclosing it with double quotation. So this is what the variable declaration. This is how we are doing the variable declaration. Sorry, defining. We um we are defining the variables okay this is how we need to define the variables and and coming to the right side right you are giving the values so in xml and all what we have done uh, second let me open that something so this is how i created my uh, variable and after the tags, in between the tags, right, I have used my values, right? Same way, coming to the JSON, you need to have one colon. And after that, you can use your values in the quoted form, the okay, double quoted form. So this is your third rule. So first rule, open and close braces and define your variables enclosed with the double quotes. 
and uh, assign your values enclosed with double quotes okay and you will be using comma separator for each and every element because it has the continuity right till the last element you will be using comma so then only system will understand okay uh, multiple elements are available in this uh, um, you know the what to say multiple elements are available uh, for this json profile okay but if you notice the last element we don't have the comma okay which means we come to an end and uh, we close the item uh, the profile okay so employee ID, first name, last name, email, everything should have comma delimiter so that we have the continuation. And once we come to the higher date, we don't have any continuation. So the last element will not be having any commas. Okay, should not put Sorry. any commas for the last element. Yeah. And maybe I miss this thing. So first employee ID, like it's 100, it is not in like double code. So is there a specific reason? I understand. Yeah, yeah, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Okay. okay. Yeah. So this is uh, this is the fourth rule. Okay. So first one braces and the employee definition. Sorry, the the variable uh, definition and assigning the values and the comma separator. These are the four rules. Okay. So coming to the fifth one. Okay. You understand the JSON has. Uh, the values like uh, you know one is alphanumeric values we are giving or uh, full characters we are giving so both considers as string with a string okay both considers as string uh, but only the integer values like your number values if we are giving right uh, json will accept by default with or without double quotes even you can give the double quotes that won't create any issue Without double quotes also, it will work. Okay, but coming to strings, right? Uh, John, Chen, these and all, it won't work. So coming to the strings, you cannot use, uh, sorry, uh, without double quotes, it will not work. But for integers, you can either go with the double quotes or not uh, go with the double quotes, it will work. Okay, so that is the one ad advantage with uh, JSON profiles, okay? So this is your fifth rule. Okay. This is how you will create your simple uh, JSON profile. 